Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. If you like fragrance related content, make sure you show your support. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel by clicking that red subscribe button down below, I really would appreciate it. Make sure you click the bell icon so you're notified for future videos and giveaway videos as well. Before the video starts, I'd like to announce the three giveaway winners for these two fragrances I'm talking about today. I'm gonna to give away a sample of Parfums de Marley Greenly or a sample of Parfums de Marley Sedley. So I'm gonna announce three giveaway winners. I'm gonna post your comment here on the screen when I announce your name and I'll leave my email down below. Definitely shoot me an email next couple of days so I can get your product out to you by the weekend. I'm gonna ship it out. So you have one week um, from today. This is I think July, um, 11th and you have up to July 16th to leave me an email down below so I can send your product out to you. If you don't email, email me by this Saturday, I will not send your product out and I do apologize. I have a lot of other giveaways and I can't keep track of all of them. Let's announce the three winners. Number one winner is CK. Leave his comment here on the screen. Congratulations to him. Number two we have is Bryant Worley, W-O-R-L-E-Y. I'll leave his comment here. And third and last winner we have is Kelly O'Neill, O-N-E-A-L. So congratulations to the winners. Um, leave my email down below. Definitely give me an email and I'll send you a little four mil sample out to you in the next couple of days. Let me know if you want uh, Greenly by Puffums and Marley or you want Sedley. Either one, your choice, and I will get a sample out to you in a few days. Today's video is a fragrance battle video between two fragrances from the same house. So we got Parfums de Marley Greenly versus Parfums de Marley Sedley. Okay, so these battle videos that I do here on my channel, if you are new to the channel, I talk about the pros and cons. So I talk about how much they cost, the performance for each fragrance, when to wear it, um, ratings and final thoughts like I do in regular views, but I'm doing them side by side from the same house. This is Parfums de Marley and this is Greenly. So Greenly um, fragrance, pretty much, I like the beautiful green presentation. This fragrance um, comes in two sizes, comes in a 75 mil for 210 and 125 mil for 299. So roughly around two three hundred dollars for a bottle of this fragrance here you definitely can buy samples i leave links down below to perfumology for either this fragrance or the other fragrance it's battling no breakdown we have uh sicilian bergamot we have mandarin orange green apple cashmere in the opening the mid we have cedar wood pettigrain violet and pimento rose and top it off in the base we have oak moss musk amber and woods let's spray this fragrance on a test strip Caps are heavy. Keep that in mind for all the fragrances from Performance the Marley. Sprayers are amazing. Okay. Okay. So this one opens up very fresh, very green. You're gonna get an apple, a green apple vibe in the opening, but I don't call it sweet. I feel like it's a nice touch of green in the fragrance. The bottle matches the actual smell. The fragrance is green. It's uplifting, fresh. That citrus and orange mint opening is amazing. It's a nice citrus opening pop. There's a lot of cedar wood and woods and musk in this fragrance as well. This is a great um, fragrance to wear dressed up or dressed down, especially if you don't have a lot of fragrance in your collection, this is a perfect scent. Next fragrance we're talking about is from Parfums de Marley, and this is Parfums de Marley Sedley. This fragrance came out um, two times. It came out in original form, and then people were complaining about the, the, um, the for performance, and then they brought it out again in 2020 version of Parfums de Marley Sedley. So I have the old version or the old batch, people want to call it, and it doesn't perform the best on my scene, which I'll get later on in the video, but Nevertheless, this fragrance comes in two sizes as well. You can get a 75 mil like this for 210 and, a and 125 mil for 299. I'll leave links down below to Perfumology as well so you can check out this one or the other fragrance and get a bottle or samples. No breakdown. So we have bergamot, mandarin orange, which is in both fragrances. We have grapefruit, we have lemon, spearmint in the top. The mid, we have rosemary, geranium, lavender, and we have frankincense. Top it off in the base. We have sandalwood, cedarwood, vetiver, patchouli, cashmere, and broxen. So both these fragrances are very similar in a note breakdown. I'm gonna spray this on a test strip. 
Same beautiful presentation, just blue, and sprayers are amazing. Shoots out a lot. I know the atomizer for this one is different than the other one. They changed this atomizer for this particular fragrance, and then they went back to the beast mode one, so just keep that in mind. Okay. So this one opens up very fresh. You definitely get that bergamot and mandarin orange in the opening very fresh. And then after a few seconds, that spearmint comes into play, it's that fresh minty feel. It's not overly minty like a toothpaste minty or like a crypto mint. It's just a very nice blended spearmint and a fragrance and minty touch to it. Along with the fresh notes, it's a beautiful scent. It smells amazing. Every time I smell this fragrance, I spray it on my skin or in the air. Oh man, it smells so good. Now we're gonna break down both fragrances from performance um, and let you know which one I prefer over the other one and let you know at the end which one I love over the other one. This is gonna be a hard ba battle video for me because they're both really great fragrances, but I have to have a clear winner at the end. Performance, okay. So first we're gonna touch on Perfumes de Marley Greenly. So projection, very strong. The first um, hour and a half to two hours on my skin, I have no complaints. It's very strong. I think it's more with that embroxing uh, note in the fragrance that kind of pushes it out more very heavy in your face. And then it does tone down some. After the first three or four hours, it settles down. And then you're definitely going to get wafts around your neck like a scent bubble, but it's not as heavy in your face. When people walk by, they're gonna catch whiff of this fragrance. If you spray it on your clothes, it's gonna last for several more hours as well, but you just gotta spray my, my skin and that's pretty much it. But you can spray your clothes if you want the fragrance to last a little bit longer, you know, on you. Longevity, you're looking at about seven to eight hours. You might get more, you might get less. Keep that in mind, this is a fresh take on a fragrance, so it may not last the most. For some people, might get five or six. I worn, I did about five or six sprays, and I got seven to eight hours. Really have no complaints at the end of the day, seven, eight hours. If you're working a regular job, your day's almost over, you can reapply it or go home and take a shower and put it on again. Performance for Perfums of Marley Sedley. Okay, so mine's an older batch, so keep that in mind. I don't have the 2020. 2021 perform is amazing on my skin because I had a sample that I bought at Perfumology, but nevertheless, this is the first batch of it, and projection is very light on my skin for the first 30 to 45 minutes. It's not the best. It's one that you have to get closer to me to smell it, which is kind of sad, but it does smell amazing. This is about half an arm's length, so keep that in mind. Longevity, um, it's not the great. It's about three to four hours on my skin. By the four hour mark, I'm like digging my nose in, trying to smell the fragrance. So between three and a half to four hours, you're gonna get with this fragrance here. This is a fresh fragrance, so keep that in mind with the spearmint, um, the bergamot, the mandarin orange, the grapefruit, uh, lemon. These notes are very fresh, uplifting scents. These notes are very hard. Um, to keep lasting in a fragrance, especially when there's so many freshness in this fragrance, the notes are not gonna last forever. These, these notes on your skin will be like, it'll be faded really quickly. Seasons and occasions. So for Perfumes de Marley Greenly, pretty much it's gonna be your spring and summer fragrance. Now I said in my review, you can wear it all year round perfectly. Yes, it'll give you a perfectly signature scent, but at the end of the day, I know a lot of people say freshies are more for spring and summer. Wear this fragrance whenever you want. If I wasn't a fragrance uh, reviewer or a collector, I would wear this as a signature scent. I would wear it all year round because it's fresh, it's clean, it's uplifting. It performs on my skin and I have no complaints wearing this fragrance here. When you talk about the occasions, you can pretty much wear this dressed up or dressed down. There's really not a wrong time when to wear it performs the Marley Greenly. I think it's just if you have the money to afford it, definitely pick yourself up a 75 mil or 125 mil you'll be good to go. Seasons and occasions for Perfumes de Marley Sally. Okay, this one here, I feel like it's gonna be more of a spring and summer fragrance just because the performance isn't the best for the old batch I have. Now, if you get the 2020 version, that only comes in 125 mil, you're gonna be set for life. It's gonna perform on your skin a lot better than this does, and you're definitely going to be able to wear it or rock it all January to December, all your signature scent. I approved that one over the original one, I love the 2021, I wish I would have waited and got that, but nevertheless, this version is still good. You should definitely check it out. Occasion-wise, uh, I would say you can wear it dressed up or dressed down. It doesn't perform the best, so you're gonna have to spray a couple more sprays to get throughout the day. But nevertheless, it does the job. You're gonna smell good. People are gonna like the way you smell, but they got to get closer to you to smell the fragrance off of your skin. Ratings and final thoughts. Okay, so for Perfumes de Marley, Greenly, okay, rating wise, I think I gave it for a nine out of 10. I gave it a nine out of 10 because I can't give it a perfect 10 
because it's not going to be affordable for a lot of people. $210 is a lot of money for a 75 ml bottle. I mean, when it hits discounters, it's definitely a good price, maybe 180, 170. But at 210, especially if you have a lot of fragrances, you may not need this one. But if you are new to fragrances and maybe you just wanna dive right into niche fragrances, you wanna skip designers, definitely check this one out here. You're gonna smell amazing, you're gonna feel good, and you might get a few comments wearing a fragrance like this. That's why I give it a nine out of 10 because the price point is not going to be in everybody's affordable range of buying fragrances because people have kids and families and houses and car payments to pay. So I do keep that in mind when I talk about fragrances. But if you have the money to splurge, buy yourself an amazing fragrance, skip the designer fragrance, jump right into team niche. Ratings for Perfumes de Marley and the thoughts for Perfumes de Marley Selly. I like this one a lot. I've said it before, I liked it in my review. I'm gonna give it, um, I think I did, I gave it a seven or an eight in my four review back in the day when I reviewed it. I still like the scent. I love the mint in it. I love the spearmint in the fragrance. It's fresh, it's clean uplifting. It doesn't perform that well. I'm very sad about that, but I do enjoy wearing this fragrance. I wish I got better performance like the 2020 batch, but it's a great fragrance. I'm happy I have it. I went through about half my bottle. That's how much I enjoy wearing it. So there you go. Okay, now it's time for me to pick which one's my favorite. Now it's gonna be a tough one because they both smell amazing. Um, It's a tough one, I like them both. Um, I'm gonna go with Perfumes de Marley, sadly. Sally smells amazing. Um, this is one I just love. Now I know there's a, a spearmint note that kind of gives it off why I like mint fragrances and I understand that, but either one you get, you're gonna like. I love this one more just because the first time I smelled it, it was fresh and clean and minty. It didn't perform the best on my skin, but some people do tell me, hey, if you like the fragrance, just wear it. Don't worry about if it performs or not because you're the one that's buying the fragrance and you wanna smell good. Now I do apply more sprays. I do about maybe seven or eight sprays with this one because it doesn't perform the best. So I usually do about, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just to smell the fragrance throughout the day. Like I said, not the best performer, but I enjoy it. I think you should definitely get your nose on this one or Perfumes de Marley Greenly. I think you're gonna enjoy either one of these fragrances. They're both fresh and clean fragrances. Let's just be honest here. It's nothing like one is different than the other. They're very, very similar in the same note breakdown. Um, one performs better than the other one, but then the day, they're both great releases from the House of Perfumes de Marley. These are probably their best freshies. I mean, including Galloway. I understand that one, but these two are, are, are amazing fresh fragrances. You should definitely check out, if you just want fresh and clean fragrances, you want a signature scent, you can't go on either one of these, either one of these fragrances from Perfumes de Marley, you can't go wrong. Which one is your favorite, ladies and gentlemen? Leave a comment down below. Are you team Greenlee or team Sedley? Let me know in the comment section below. Either one you get, you're gonna love them and they're my uh, seal of approval. You'll love either one of these fragrances from Perfumes de Marley, I guarantee it. If you can afford it and you feel like they're worth it, definitely do it. If not, not a big deal. I'm just giving you information on both these fragrances here. And trust me, these fragrances are expensive. I did my research and I got this one on sale when they had a sale at Perfumology for 30% off. And I got this one through the Facebook group when they had this on sale. So definitely look around for discounts and on sale stuff. We can get a bottle because they're always on sale for Fumes Amali fragrances, 10%, 20%. So definitely check it out. Thanks for watching another fragrance video. If you like this type of content and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I really hope you show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Make sure you like this video if you like this type of content and make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements as well. I'll see you guys next video. Be safe out there. Bye.